Today I'm going to show a game between me and my dude Michael Brinson, aka M. Bryn Quinn, a well-known member of the Madden tournament community. Now, I've known Quinn since about Madden 2006, maybe Madden 2007. Uh, pretty much just played in leagues with him throughout that, all that time. And uh, here we are in Madden 2012, meeting up in the Super Bowl in one of our online leagues. Now, at this particular point, the game had only been out a month, so... The video has been a long time coming, and I just really suck at commentary, which is why it took me so fucking long, but I really wanted to put this game up all year long. So before Madden 12 becomes irrelevant in like, what, 25 days from now, I figured this is my last chance. So let me give you a little bit of background at the season at hand. Now, Quinn was a passing machine thrown for 10,000 yards with Blaine Gabbert during the regular season uh, with 94 touchdown passes. While myself, on the other hand, rushed for 4,000 with MJD and 48 touchdown runs and 12 receiving touchdowns. So this is really a game of two completely different game styles, other than the fact that since the game had just came out, if I remember correctly, you're probably going to see a lot of strong close here, since at this point of the season, no one really had a lockdown defense for it, and I had just got done putting out a strong close guide for my customers on my old Madden site. Now, as I said, Quinn had passed for 10,000 yards during the regular season, and knowing how explosive this dude can be, you better believe that this entire game, I ran the fuck out of that clock. Now, I don't fear playing anyone, but if you don't respect what you're up against, you're never going to be a successful player. And it just so happens that in this particular season, my scheme was a very run-heavy offense. So running the clock just made sense, even though I actually did run hurry up all the way to the Super Bowl. So now let's get to uh, what's going on in the game here. So at this point, I'm actually fucking pissed because he's been stopping me in the backfield on my strong toss. So I go to one of my favorite plays in Madden 12, which is the wide trips, wide receiver screen, halfback drag. Absolutely love that play. Um, as I said, MJD had about 12 receiving touchdowns. I'd say about eight came just off that play alone. So I'm up 7-0. And as you can see here, he's trying to run strong close. All year long, this was our bread and butter. We were killing dudes all over the regular season using strong close, mixing it in with other parts of our scheme. Then we get in the Super Bowl, and we can't do shit. So now he changes up his passing attack to more of a shotgun, and I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but dude gets wide open deep and unbelievably steps out of bounds. I mean, I don't know what the fuck my cornerback was doing. It looked like he was playing a cover two. And I got to tell you, I would never, ever play cover two against Quinn in that situation. Ever. So I don't know what the fuck happened, but I got lucky. Stepped out of bounds. Still 7 nothing. Fourth down. I tried to make a play in the A gap. Uh, couldn't do it. So at that particular point, you know, when he almost hit me deep and tied up the game, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? No more fucking around. I can't let the AI dictate what's going to happen to me uh, downfield, especially when the dude threw for 10,000 yards, right? So at, at that point, I'm thinking I got to be the safety at the right time. I got to know when he's thinking deep, and I got to know when he's playing short. So just be real smart with the safety. Be real smart with the positioning because if I don't, he's just going to torch me. So here I get sacked, 4th and 11. That tight end option play with a strong close is actually one of my favorite plays in the entire game, in the entire scheme that I was running. Uh, everyone used to always motion that running back in the tight end option to the left. Well, for me, in my scheme, always ran it to the right, motion right, and just kill dudes with it. And um, I don't know, though. He was, I, I mean, I used that all year, and he was just torching me. Here, one-on-one, -on -one, the fucking ball. Look at that. That's like in both of our hands. That could have went to any of us. If he catches that, he probably continues on for a touchdown. But again, I'm not going to say I got lucky. I made a nice user play. But my ball, minute 30 to go. I'm up 10 nothing. I try to do the fucking tight end option again, and he sacks me. Ugh, that was pissing me off. Th <laughs> what the fuck was that? Third and 10, and that's my play? unbelievable unbelievable anyway so as i said earlier guys i mean my commentary sucks okay i'm probably gonna have times where i fuck up or i don't know what to say so just bear with me and i fucking hate that play versus man-to-man -man. i mean i'm a kind of guy i love to play straight up man-to-man -man defense and just user shit and that fucking pass lead down versus man-to-man -man pissed me off all year long even though i used it 
There were dudes like literally based their whole offense on that. Oh, fucking annoying. So now he's going shotgun, as I said. Going deep. Ugh, just make a user play on the ball. Thank God that EA doesn't let you to catch those when it hits you right in the helmet afterwards. He punts the ball, and I don't call for a fair catch with 31 seconds to go. Are you kidding? Like, I want to give this game away? Go back to my Y trips wide receiver screen because it's just before half, and that's when I love to run the play because, you know, dudes are always backing their guys up before half and shit, so... You know, I always try to sneak that in there and get a big touchdown or at least get into field goal range, but didn't work that time. Third and four, I go to one of my money plays, um, wide receiver corners. Now, out of shotgun all year long, I went, I ran uh, wide receiver corners. Whatever scheme I was running, wide receiver corners was in it. Best play in the game. Quinn, the, I mean, this dude has balls the size of fucking King Kong comes out it's only 10 to nothing dude's got a high powered offense and he does an onside kick i mean i think he's gonna you know he thinks he's gonna stop me but fucking mjd breaks free 17 nothing 513 left to go in the third there is dudes in the xbox live party just going nuts right now i mean i remember they were all telling me afterwards like i'm not in the party right now i can't play when i'm in a party but apparently they're all like what the fuck is going on because you know he was the big favorite because of that passing game right people don't you know respect the run so he's a big favorite putting up all those points that he put up and people are like 17 nothing in the second half what the fuck is going on he tries to hit me with it again on third down he goes for it on fourth down i'm up 17 nothing i'm playing lockdown d and he fucking runs with his quarterback and i miss him for real Oh, that fucking play hurt. I honestly totally forgot about that play. I don't know what he's doing. I'm knocking these passes down deep, but, you know, let me just tell you something real quick. Anybody that I teach how to play Madden or, or try to teach them how to have good composure or just anything, I always tell them, who gives a fuck about the last play? Don't worry about the last play. If you make a mistake, you do something wrong, unbelievable, that guy fucking gets the ball. That should have been game right there. I tell them, don't worry about the last play. That fourth down where he ran and I missed him. I had him lined up. I should have fucking made him fumble on that play. And he picked up a fourth down. I mean, that affected me. I didn't let that go. I'm playing this entire drive thinking about that play, thinking about the fact this game should have been over by now. 17 nothing. if I get that ball right there you know i mean i have pretty good confidence that i'm gonna make it at least 20 nothing and i don't know what he's doing man i mean he's passing he's making these passes into coverage and i'm i'm swatting them and uh so now he starts taking off with his quarterback and i mean that's that's one thing that i think kills me throughout this game is the fact that i'm just trying to play uh certain defenses without qb spies and he's run, picks up fourth and three again. I mean, how many times did I have this dude? How many times did I have this dude on fourth down? It's already 17 nothing. This game could easily be like 31 nothing already. Second and goal, he runs it. I don't know. I tried to A-gap it. Fucking 17-7. That play affected me. I thought about that fucking fourth down where he ran with his quarterback the whole drive. And he ends up scoring a touchdown. Now, <laughs> right after, immediately after he scores, Jermichael Finley all the way down to the six-yard line. I was like, fucking yes, man. That that must have broke his back right there. Next play, run it in with MJD. I mean, he's fucked now. 24-7, to minute 51 to go in the third. I mean, anytime you play a game and you, you fight and you fight and you fight and you try to get that touchdown to get in the game, and and you miss it or you know or you get it sorry and then next play dude comes back and scores a touchdown right away i mean that always fucks you up and there he gets i don't know what the hell he's doing uh going for onside kick again like i said this dude's got balls man he don't fuck around he's confident in his defense he's confident in his offense he's down 10 i don't know maybe it's because i'm running clock he thinks that maybe he's you know got limited time because, you know, take a look at the clock every time I snap the ball. 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 4 seconds. So third and 12. 
and I get sacked. Unbelievable. There was a commissioner of the league, DJAC, sending me a message, probably saying something like, man, you got this shit on lock, what's going on? You know, because I was up 17 nothing, or he's probably going to tell me, you know, don't let that shit slip away. I don't know what the hell was going on, but they were all in the Xbox party, man, going fucking crazy. And I'm trying to concentrate. They're sending me messages, you know. They're, they're sending me text messages while I'm playing and shit. I'm like, dude, leave me alone, man. Fuck, do you know who I'm playing right now? This shit's tough. So again, I mean, prior, four carries, 37 yards, start of the fourth quarter, I'm up 10. I'm playing the faggiest fucking defense known to man right now. Like, <laughs> look at that, dude. That is faggy. Are you fucking... On? That's a pick. Rewind that shit. I want you to fucking rewind this video right now. Antoine Applewhite, that should have been a pick right there. Unbelievable. Gets that shit anyway. Look at that. Fourth quarter, 528 to go. User pick, Antoine Applewhite was a beast for me all playoffs long. Uh, Six-yard line, run that ball. Nice little run play and fucking MJD fumbles. On the one yard line after making a user pick, not just a pick, a user pick to seal the shit. And MJD does that. This dude ran for 4,000 yards, 48 touchdowns. He fumbled four times the entire regular season. Four. And he fumbles like that for me on the one yard line and lets him get a touchdown. And then Jermichael Finley drops a fucking wide open pass to put me in third and 17. Then I try to do my favorite play in the game, wide receiver corners. I don't know what happened. The timing was way off. I missed that. First and 10, 4.30 to go. He's still running strong close. I, I, you know, I don't know what he's doing here. Hits me quick over the middle on a, on a drag or a slant. Wasn't paying attention. Halfback counter. Come on, stop that bitch in the backfield. Doesn't go anywhere. I don't know. He's just trying to loosen me up, I think, deep. He's trying to loosen me up deep. He was coming out in, you know, two wide receivers, one tight end, and and uh, two running backs the whole time, audibling to shotgun or standing strong close. Get a lucky play there. That would have been a backbreaker. I'm still up three points. I don't know how he caught that ball. Des Bryant, two catches, buck one. <sighs> he fucking takes the lead. Three minutes to go. I was up 17 nothing. He takes the lead. I cheese the fucking guy out again with a slant out to Jermichael Finley. He's got four balls for 125. Strong close again. Dude smashes me in the backfield again. Thank God for my money play on second down. I mean, Vincent Jackson only had two catches for 39 yards. I should have ran that money play a little bit more. There's four or fourth quarter, two minutes to go. I'm down by three. MJD picking up a couple yards here and there. Third and six. What am I doing? Wide receiver corners again? Oh, just launch that bitch up and go get it. First and goal. I mean, do you guys have any idea what's going to happen here? Who's going to win this game? Who the fuck is going to win this game right now? A minute and 11 to go. Second and goal, I'm on the one-yard line. Halfback staying out of goal line. Motion the f tight end over. Touchdown, Chiefs. Up four with a minute nine to go. Against a dude that threw for 94 touchdowns in the regular season. He's loosening me up. He comes out in strong close. Not even shotgun, but strong close after what I did to him. Throws into triple coverage. Like, at that point, I'm thinking, man, this guy's begging hard. Like, there's no way that he's going to win. I mean, he's begging real hard, throwing into double, triple coverage like that. Again, he did it. I'm thinking, yes, man, I'm going to win this. This guy's going to try to go deep. Going to try to go deep. Got the shit on lock. Hits me with a slant over the middle. 35 seconds to go. 48-yard line. I got that QB spy. And he fucking beats me again. Again, 28 seconds to go, fourth quarter, 14-yard line, strong close, a little bit of motion, runs the ball, runs the ball with one timeout, 
and the dude's got this passing attack. He's got one timeout left with 19 seconds. 18. Look at the clock. Look at the balls on Quinn. Look at the fucking balls on this guy. Tick, tick. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, yeah. Uh, faggiest defense in the entire planet. Dude goes up for the fucking fade and catches it with four seconds to go. Unfucking believe. Did you see the balls on this guy? Tick, tick, tick on the clock. Like a not a fucking care in the world. I run a defense that was in the lab. You know, I have lab access to madlab.com. I ran a play that I had already done. You know, I it was um I forget the name of the play, but the two cornerbacks are blitzing, and I was always putting putting them in deep blue zones. And Shutdown did a, a, a play for Fag D in the lab uh, with yellow zone. So I decided, you know what? That's a perfect play call right now. Rewind the tape. I had three dudes there. Instead of clicking on and trying to make a play, I just said, you know what? There's three guys there. Just leave it alone. Let them jump. Don't, you know, it's the most effective play in the game. I mean, look at this dude. Nine for 29. He had five, six, seven, eight hundred yards passing game after game. Three picks, one touchdown. I mean, how the fuck did I lose this game? So you tell me, was my strategy wrong? How did I play this game wrong? Did I get unlucky? I mean, I want to know what you guys think. Just unbelievable. I'll see you.